welcome back to part three in which I'm going to show you how to create the gallery section of the website. So let's go ahead and open up Mobirize and go to add block to page. Then you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see the footers. Click on this one right here, which should give you a black bar with some text. Go ahead and change the text to recent work then highlight the text and make it bold click on the text and change the text color to be black and then finally change the background color by going to block parameters color and change it to white okay now let's change the font of the text to match the rest of the website so go to edit site styles text railway and I'm also going to make it a little bit smaller, so 0 0.8. And that should take care of this little bar for us. Now we can go ahead and add the gallery to the page. So click on add block to page. Scroll up until you find sliders and galleries. So right about here. Then select the first option. And you can see that a gallery has been added to your page. To start changing out the images, you can go to block parameters, then scroll down until you see this gallery thing right here. And these are all the images currently in your gallery. So to change out a photo, simply click on the miniature and select a new photo. I'm gonna pick one from the online library to just showcase how it works if this ever loads, which Apparently it won't, so I'm going to go to Browse Computer and select an image from here. Okay, just click Open and OK, and as you can see, the image has been changed. So, if we go ahead and take a look at the example here, you can see that uh, not all of the images have the same aspect ratio. Um, the images on the side actually use a 2 by 3 aspect ratio and the rest of the images have a 4 by 3 So that's what I'm gonna do for this gallery as well. So let's get started by clicking on block parameters and for the first image, I'm gonna select the forest image right here. So open and then then you want to click on the image and click on the more and then here you can see a bunch of aspect ratios that you can switch between to make sure that all images are the same size. So I'm gonna select the two by three, make sure this thing covers the whole thing and click okay, click okay again, and there we go. There we have our first image. Let's go ahead and add the second image by going back to block parameters and clicking on the second image. Then click on the miniature, browse computer, select the image that you want, click open, change the aspect ratio to four by three, click OK, click OK, and there you have your second image. Now do the same thing for the third, block parameters, click on the third image, browse computer, Select the image that you want, change the aspect ratio, click OK, OK. And for the fourth image, we are using the 2 by 3 aspect ratio, so keep that in mind. Browse computer, aspect ratio, 2 by 3, OK, OK. Okay, so for the rest of the images, I'm going to use the 4x3 aspect ratio, and I'm just going to quickly speed through this because it's pretty boring to watch, so I'm going to see you when I'm done. Okay, so now the gallery is pretty much finished and in the fourth and final part of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create the footer section and the main menu. So that's it for part three and I'll see you guys in part four. Thank you guys for watching.